Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a new experiences site within your Salesforce org. Um, the first thing that we actually do need to do is go ahead and enable experiences for this org. This is a developer org. I'm going to go to setup. If you already have this enabled, feel free to skip this portion as well. All right, let's go ahead and search for experiences here in the quick find. And then, so underneath digital experiences, we're gonna go to settings and then enable it. And I'm going to hit save. Okay. All right. And now this should be enabled. One thing that I do wanna mention before we create the site is that it took us to all sites. So when you type in sites to your quick find, um, you can see sites that you already have. Um, and then that way you can access the front end. And then you can also go to all sites, which will allow you to create that new site. So I'm gonna to go to new. And this might take a little bit. All right, so now we are kind of in the experience builder. We're going to choose it from a template. We could build our own as well. Um, I am going to choose the customer service one just as a quick, simple, good to go. I am going to, so you can see the different features here and some of the different features of this template. I am going to get started and then we're gonna give this a name. So let's say customer service site example. And then you can create an optional URL endpoint here, but I am just gonna leave that blank and click create. So now this is where this could actually take a few minutes. I am seeing the time up here is 3.31 PM. So um, I'll go ahead and skip this part for you to go ahead. Um, when this is done, I'll let you know what the time is. All right, now we are back. And that took about two, maybe three-ish minutes. It's 3.33 right now. So maybe about 90 seconds. Um, it was pretty quick. My org doesn't really have a whole lot going on with it. I just created it today for this tutorial. So we are now in like the workspaces, the back end of the website. So we could do content management here, moderation, dashboards, admin stuff, a guided setup. Let's go ahead and go into the builder. And yeah, so now it's gonna show us Welcome to the Experience Builder. But as you can see, things load a little bit more here on this site. It'll look fairly similar to that template that we had. But that is how you uh, create an experience site. That was kind of a, a quick, simple how to get that done. Um, one thing that you do need to do is that you need to go ahead and pub. When you do want this to go active, you will need to publish it and then activate it as well. I'm gonna go back to all sites and we should be able to see it. I'm gonna go to all sites okay all sites is not working here we go all sites and then we can go from here to the spaces or back to the builder depending on what we want to when we come back to working on this experience i hope that you found this video helpful if you did be sure to give it a like subscribe you can connect with me on linkedin and twitter at emily call mba check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com check out the blog at salesforceemily.com and I will catch you guys in the next one.